Welcome to episode five of Juju Infusion. In this week's show, my Paris Juju Shrine, it's kind of the Carl show this week. He's my friend in Boulder and he's breaking news there. Find out how. He's also showing us some of his magic and he's asked the question for this week, which I'll answer how to deal with the biggest creative challenge people face. Elsewhere, things I love, two balls in a sock, journal juju and more. Stay tuned. On the Paris Juju front, I haven't found a place to stay. If you've got ideas for me to find cheap or free lodging in Paris for June, please let me know. That is the deciding factor on whether I can go or not. Thanks for all of your encouragement to go. Check out my Journey Juju Shrine that I made for Paris to invoke my Paris Juju. Well, here's my Amsterdam Shrine that I made earlier this year. i give you a tour. This is a little painting, a miniature of Amsterdam that I bought in Amsterdam. I also bought this miniature typewriter there. It's a little metal thing. It's adorable. And you can see that key. I found that on the street in Amsterdam when I was having lunch with Brandy. I took it to be a clue of my Amster Juju that this was the key to the city. And there's a little phone so that I can make my calls to my clients and keep working while I'm there. There's a gratitude stone to remind me of how grateful I am for this amazing life. Ink, keep my blood flowing. There's a stippled cart, which is the um, ticket for the trams, and there are still a few left, so I was planning to use that. And there's an Amsterdam map, a Gilda, a five Gilda note from when I was there in 1992, and then a 20 euro bill. And this is my change purse with all of my European coins so that I have enough money to do that. And then my little yogis and uh, other juju. But I'm going to have to change that out for a Paris shrine, so let's do that now. Okay, presto changeo. The once Amsterdam shrine is now a Paris shrine. We've got the map of Paris, the sixième arrondissement, exactly where I want to be. Here's Shakespeare and Company, oh, somewhere right up here. We've got my travel shrine to ensure good travel juju for me. That's my shrine, number 99. My Nevigo Metro Pass, so I just go charge that up and travel around the metro. Of course, we know what that is. Book, money, still need money, still need the euro, still need the typewriter, phone, and the gratitude. Plus, it's never... A bad idea to have a key to Amsterdam. The new passport ready to be stamped. And the calendar from Rhiannon Connolly of Starry Blue Sky is Paris. That's Notre Dame. And it's June. It's Paris Juju. There's a picture of me in Paris uh, last fall. I, that's right behind Notre Dame. Oh my God, look. I'm looking at Notre Dame. That is such juju. Whew, yeah. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. My friend Carl is a genius and he recently made headline news in the Boulder's daily camera for launching a meditation initiative. He said, let's all get together and visualize the valve closing on that oil spill in the Gulf so that there's no more oil spilling. This made news and the daily camera wrote an article about him and he's trying to do it. And he's gotten tons of flack in the comments on the daily camera, which is an actually hilarious comment. I was out with Carl Friday night and he did some little magic trick and I want to show you. Carl actually does have some special powers, so check this video out and see what um, Carl can do. Oh my god, I can't believe that. that actually, it is leaning in, so... <laughs> I am a master bridge builder. That's amazing. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> That's a great... Carl is the one who fixed my flip camera, and that is mentioned in the article that he has these magical powers, that he just has his ability to fix things and change things. So some people mocked him for that, but my flip is working, and you saw that trick. So who knows? Maybe Carl is magical. Maybe Carl is a genius. Maybe Carl does have juju. I like to keep him around because he makes me laugh, and he's super smart, and he does know how to do stuff and make things happen. Love you, Carl. This week's question comes from Carl. He says, what do you find is the major common thing that blocks people from achieving their dreams? 
Well, Carl and everybody who's watching, it's pretty simple. It boils down to one word, fear. So there are hundreds of fears that block us, but I found that the antidote to that is love. Find what you love and follow that. Love is all there is. I absolutely believe it. And I can trace it back to reading this book, Wild Heart Dancing by Elliot Sobel. I read this a couple, like 15 years ago. And he said, take a day out, stop reading self-help books. Actually just take a day and do what you love. And I thought that was pretty much the best advice I've gotten. If you find that you're creatively blocked, Look at what you love about your art. Look at what you love about your process. Find your love. Love what you love. Love the people you love. Let people love you. Let people love your way of being. Learn to love your way of being. Learn to stop criticizing how you do what you do. Just love what you do and love how you do it. Love your way. Love people that drive you crazy. Love strangers that you think are idiots. Love people who have a totally different perspective than you. Love what you're doing most of all. Just look. What is this song? What, who is this? This is what I'm talking about. It just comes on the radio. Is this Ingrid Michaelson? I better stop because I don't have a license to use this song that I love. At one point we were rewarded for fitting in and now we're not. The only way to survive now is to stand out and to stand out as your authentic self with what you believe. People are afraid to do that, but now is the time. It's now or never. And Carl's example is a great one for us to just Go for it, put something out there, take the lead, take a stand, take a stand for something you believe in and see what happens, who knows? It could be some good juju for everybody. Thanks for asking your questions. Send your questions or drop them in a comment on the show here. People of the computer, and I know that's you because you're watching this now. I have something to share. Most of the day, you're probably sitting like this with your hands on your computer and you just slowly start hunching forward. By the end of the day, your back and your neck are killing you and you just need a massage. Wouldn't it be great to have a daily massage? Well, most of us can't afford that, but I have the solution. Two balls in a sock is the massage solution. It's really simple to make. Two tennis balls and an old sock. And Well, this is one tennis ball, but you get the point. And you put it in there and you roll it up and you tie it and then you've got this great massage tool. Let's see how it works. And you put it on your yoga mat and you lay with your back, kind of mid back on the balls. One ball on either side of your spine. And you lift your hips up and you roll back and forth. And this gives a massage to your back. Oh, it feels good. You can also put it on your lower back and roll there and release your lower back. You can also let it stay there. I like to have it resting there and rest. And I feel this great relaxation of the pelvis. And you can also have it resting under your, right in the middle of your back, between your shoulder blades for a great heart opener. And this is so relaxing. This is so relaxing after spending hours at the computer. This is the cheapest massage you're going to get and it's going to make a big difference for your day. So try it. Try two balls in a sock. Let me know how it goes. This week's journal juju, I'm giving away this cute notebook. It's an Indian notebook with lined pages and it looks like Sanskrit. You can learn your Sanskrit. So if you've commented on the episode four of Journey Juju, you're going to be in the running. I'm going over to the blog. Here's this last week's episode, and I'm scrolling up and down among the comments, and it's going to land on Cynthia Morris. Okay, we need to do it again. And up and down, all the way up, all the way down, and we're going to land it on Cynthia Morris again. Okay up and down and up and down and it lands on Jamie Lyerly finally someone other than me thanks for making your videos they're definitely inspiring be sure to comment this week on Juju Infusion show to be entered to win your journal thanks for watching Juju Infusion see you next week